how many words can be formed with the letters of the word Patali Putra without changing the relative order of the vowels and the consonants. So, uh, how many letters are there in this word Patali Putra? Totally 11 letters are there, right? Out of which, how many consonants are there? There are 6 consonants and how many vowels are there? There are 5 vowels, right? See, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5 vowels and remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 consonants are there. Now, what are they saying? You have to find out how many words can we form using the letters of these words without changing the relative order of the vowels and the consonants. Basically, wherever there is, let us say, see here in this word, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, here this first place is occupied by a consonant, second place is occupied by a vowel, third place is occupied by a consonant, fourth place is occupied by a vowel. What they are trying to say is, each position should be occupied only by, a, the position that is occupied by a consonant should only be occupied by a consonant and the position that should be occupied by a vowel should only be occupied by a vowel. We cannot change that, but you can rearrange change the consonants and vowels in the uh, in their designated positions and you can find out you have to find out how many such words can be formed okay so so in this first position right either p can come or t can come or l can come or again t or r whichever can come but only thing is it should be a consonant that can come in the first position Sim similarly in the second position only a vowel can come and so on. So, uh, next thing that you see here is that when you look at the consonants, see the consonant P is repeating twice, right? Similarly, the letter T is repeating twice. Now, when you look at the vowels, the letter A is repeating three times. Now, how many consonants are there totally? There are six places, right? In six places, consonants are there. And in these six places itself, in how many ways can I arrange the consonants? I can arrange them in six factorial ways. So, the consonants can be arranged in their six positions in totally six factorial ways. But out of the six factorial ways, what I have to remember is that the consonant P is repeating twice and the consonant T is also repeating twice. So, what is the total number of ways? It is nothing by six factor, it is nothing but six factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial. Here, I am taking into consideration the repetitions that can happen because, of, because this P and T are repeating twice each and I am removing the cases of repetition. So, the number of ways in which I can arrange the consonants is nothing but 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial ways. Similarly, in how many ways can I arrange the vowels? Vowels, there are totally 5 vowels and the 5 vowels are there in the 5 positions and they can be arranged in 5 factorial ways where vowel A is repeating 3 times. So, if I remove the repetitions, what is the total number of ways? 5 factorial by 3 factorial. Now, put together, how many such words can I form with this letters of the word partly putra so that the vowels and a consonants relative order does not change? The total number of ways is nothing but the product of these two. See, if something can be done in m ways and another thing in n ways, the total number of ways in which both can be done together is nothing but m into n ways, basic counting principle, right? So, using that, I say this is my answer. So, what do you get when you solve this? You get this is equal to 3600. That is option 1.